Hi again. I know. That was a scary, cheesy face. Yeah, I'm a little tired, so this video's gonna be a little goofy. Please, I just give them just a disclaimer again. I mean, right away. Um, hi, it's Talissa. Thanks for watching. I am about to give a video on something I really like, which is skincare. And one thing that I've been eyeballing for several years now, it all started with Empress Re, who was talking about Chagrin or Chagrin Valley soaps. I think it's Chagrin Valley soaps. And I was like, I want to try some of those products. But that was like two years ago. And I was going through other junkieisms and I didn't really want to get it. Then I saw another one of her videos on her skincare. And she says two of the products specifically had helped clear up her skin. And I'm all for clearing up of skin. I'm all for natural stuff. I'm all for looking great. So I am on a budget. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on things for my hair, skin, things like that because I have other things I need to pay for. So what I did was I went online because I have a few extra funds and I looked at the website again after looking at some YouTube videos I said let me just go ahead and look at some of this stuff. I was blown away because everything is made naturally cold pressed great ingredients they don't skimp on the ingredients they try to make things as fresh and natural as possible and the link is down below. Really good brand. They have complexion soaps, shampoo bars, body butters, bath melts, um, skin salves, which are all natural and fresh. They don't have like harsh preservatives in them at all. I don't work at Lush anymore, so I might get any Lush discounts and I might as well find another brand where I can get my, my natural skincare soap fix. So she said it helps clear up her skin and I'm all about it because my skin is this is up close and personal. Excuse the eye makeup, it's kind of fading out. This is my forehead. It's fine bumps. Fine bumps in your cheek. Yeah, this is up close and personal. This is HD, like in your face. You're seeing my blemishes and all that. And I have eczema sensitive skin. Like there's times where hair would be red and hair would be red as well. Um, my neck would get red as well too. So. I said, let me try this stuff. They have some of the things they have, avocados and shea soap, bananas and cream, carrot and honey complexion soap, Castile calendula soap, they got um, coffee spice, which has real coffee inside, cucumber, lime, and yogurt, real yogurt in there, real cucumbers, real limes, not lime scent, you know, you know fake stuff, flavorings. No, this is a real deal. They use natural fresh ingredients in everything and it's fresh, they cure it for a little bit then they send it out to you so it won't mushy, get mushy and, you know, destroy. The items that I got, I didn't do too much. I try to keep it kosher and cost friendly and below $25. So I got some samples and I got a large Rasul Clay yogurt. This is one of the ones that people rave about in reviews as well. People say this is amazing. Um, this has inside of it saponified oils of sunflower, palm, coconut, Shea butter, olive, palm kernel, mango butter, castor, rasul clay, the main deal, organic yogurt, essential oils of lavender, coriander, pink grapefruit, tangerine, rosemary oil extract. Now, the cool thing about this is that it doubles as a facial mask, for example, in the evening when I'm about to go to sleep. I just rub this on, let it sit, and it kind of tightens the pores, cleans out the pores because of the yogurt and its lactic acids, which are really helpful in cleansing the pores. Rasul clay or gasul clay, as some people say, is from Morocco. And it helps to include, it helps improve elasticity, helps improve skin tone, clarity, and get away the flakiness of your skin as well as tone down oily skin. And just with that, with combined with the yogurt, the butters inside to make your skin not too dry, this is a fantastic product. I so have heard. And this is this, ooh, this is the size of it. I cut a piece of it off for my mom. And this is a good size. I like the size here. My hand is kind of sort of small. It's a little bigger than my palm. It's pretty thick. It smells so fresh. 
it's not really a heavy scent it's very fresh um, this is $7.25 for this and a piece of soap like this which is like about about six to seven point two ounces hand cut weight and lush if you get something like this you paying some dough for this right here you paying at least twelve dollars at least on any soap and this is cheaper and it's for my face and I love that I'm gonna try that out I did like the lush cleansers but I want something a little more portable and this might just be the ticket another one I got that I kind of really was excited about this is one I was debating on getting a larger size of this is the Neiman tea tree soap oh they also come in nice paper bags so that it can cure and curing allows you to put the soap in a dark area let the air hit it and it's going to take away the the liquid moisture part of the soap and leave you with the super spatted saponified you know item of soap so you're getting the super benefits of it and as it cures longer the more suds the more you know the better it's like fine wine this is neem and tea tree and people are saying like neem smells funny i maybe need to smell some raw neem but this is what people say works great on your hair and your scalp and your face to remove um, inflammation because, of course, tea tree is great for antibiotics, it's an antiseptic, it takes away acne, helps with acne, psoriasis, eczema. It's an Ayurvedic practitioners love this stuff. It also has tea tree, which we all know is great as an antibacterial, antiseptic, fungicide, clean skin and scalp. Um, the balance of them together really helps improve the skin as well as it having jojoba and wheat germ oils. Wheat germ oil is very good for oily skin as well. So this is beneficial. Um, it has calendula and elderflowers, which are super soothing for the skin. So I'm really excited I'm using it. And a lot of people reviewed on here and said that it's fantastic. They've been taking prescription medicines and this helps. I'm sold. I'm gonna try this, I haven't used it yet. One that I did use, oh, I haven't, oh, another one I didn't use that was sea salt. And see, this is careful. I have to be careful with this. It's kind of crumbly. This is what I'm I'm really gonna love. <sighs> Y'all. This stuff smells so good. Seaweed. Oh, sea salt <laughs> and seaweed. And what's inside of here? It has it has dead sea salt. What is inside? It has organic coconut, unrefined shea butter, babasu, castor bean, Mediterranean sea salt, dead sea salt, organic aloe vera, filtered rainwater, dead sea clay, organic seaweeds, dual kelp, nori kelp, dual kelp powder, pink, French pink clay, essential oils of lavender, lemongrass, rosemary, peppermint, spearmint, and another rosemary oil extract to help it out. Y'all, this smells so delicious. And the high salt content of it allows you to feel the, the benefits on your skin. Like, it has over 50% salt, it's moisturizing, and it just really helps heal the skin. Dead Sea has that super high salt content, which is great to just exfoliate. It doesn't, it's not gonna really exfoliate, but it's gonna draw those impurities, make the skin feel amazing, and it's not scratchy. And even like I I know it's weird. I licked my finger after holding it, <laughs> and it tastes like straight up salt. Yeah, it was coconut dream shea. Uh, hurry up! And this is not the the one size here. I know it looks kind of flat. We actually got two sizes for it. It's like this size here, and I got this because I like organic stuff. And this one's the only mainly officially USDA organic soap. So this one is coconut cream and shea it's organic as possible comes in here coconut cream shea and what it has inside of course is the coconut cream and coconut milk extra virgin olive oil um unrefined shea butter sweet almond canola castor bean coconut milk again and ground lavender buds so it's very light it's very moisturizing you can feel the moisture the moisture on it it's not bendy really solid and you could feel the moisture on your skin. Like, my fingers aren't even wet, but I'm getting it off of my fingers. Lovely. 
um, another one that I don't have the little thing for anymore because I just used it last night and I don't know if I threw it away or what I did. This is the Dead Sea um, soap. And this is the only one that I've tried on my face. And I must say that it is very good. It's promising. I like the way my skin felt after using it. It was a very, I used it kind of like a mask. Light mask, excuse me. <coughs> and I just rubbed me to lather. With my hands, it gets really lathery. And this is how it looks. You can see some of the lather on it. And I just rubbed it on my face with my hand, rubbed it on my face. And afterwards, my, fin my skin felt really like nice and taut, but not dry at all. It was very moisturized, but taut. Like, I don't know how to describe it. And I added some tea tree oil on my cheeks because my cheeks were very like red and inflamed. And I must say, this is good. Um, I love Dead Sea. I actually want to get some Dead Sea Mud if I can. And what it does is it helps to deep clean, stimulate blood circulation. That's what the Dead Sea Mud does. And it slows off dead skin cells, rush radiant skin. They do not use the powder. That lets you know that this company is legit and they're serious about their, their product. They didn't use any powder. I mean, they used like the pure mud. And they also used um, ap ap <laughs> apricot kernel oil, which is very moisturizing. Doesn't really clog the skin. Great for sensitive and mature. I have sensitive and acne skin. Also sea kelp, which is another sea extra item. It helps remove, remineralize, and restore the elasticity to skin. As well as, um, it's like a mini spa. And you can use it all over your body, but I chose to use it on my face. Some people said this helps with blackheads. I will see about that. <laughs> and $7.25 $7 for this. The sea salt one I said was um, $7.95. The neem and tea tree is neem and tea tree is $7.60. I just want to run down the prices. And Rasul clay mud. Oop, Rasul clay and yogurt is um, $7.25. I just want to let you know for the full prices. Now, if you get the, the large one, you're getting a big piece. Like you're getting this big old piece right here. It's a big hunk. You're getting a sample, you're getting this. And I was kind of like, it's so tiny, it's so small. But I only paid $260 for this. All the samples are $260. And they last a long time. This is huge. This is lasting me half a year or more. You know? And it's going to be curing as I'm having it like this inside of the paper bag. So, I'm already looking to buy future, future products from them. Not right now, though. <laughs> um... I'm ready to buy some things from them. It's a great product. I think I might like these and use these more than my Lush soaps. I have some of them and I feel like this might help me a lot for my eczema. Um, and as for my face, I think I'm gonna stick with these for my face because it's long lasting. It's a great price. It's all natural. It's good stuff, you know? Um, I feel safe using these products right now. The shipping was great. This customer service is fantastic. So you, you can't really go wrong with that. Also, another plus side, please keep this not in the water because people have said they, when natural soap, you leave them in the water too long, they will melt away and you will lose your investment. And I don't think anyone wants to do that. Oh, this one's about the same size here, sort of. Yeah, they come, they're like odd shapes. The samples are like extra pieces that they had left behind. This is Neiman Tea Tree. You know, sea salt and sea seaweed. They kind of don't have it like a regular piece because it's kind of like, I'm surprised I didn't get like a circle ball or an odd end or something. So yeah, I recommend it. Men, women, boys and girls, everybody, try this out. This is my little soap stack. <laughs> I'm so cheesy. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I wanted to share experience. You can't really go wrong with sharing your experience. So other people could try it out. Um, I like it a lot. And I want people to try it out too. So, thanks for watching. And have a great, wonderful evening. Or a wonderful day. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>